story is a famous one, now worshipped, now dismissed, rehearsed and trod for meanings that may well not exist. The demon at the story's heart, the cuckoo in the nest, he gets solid. So the unschooled outcast, the irascible you, has become all the things you desire. I took all they offered and learned their deceptions all relentlessly acquired. And the eyes of the traveler see an obvious truth. You've become all the things you deny. The loss of ambition was coloring your reason as the pleasure in you died. Ooh, when you thought of me, had me on your mind, who you never would have dreamed of the riches I'd find. I won't be without again, woman. Mama
Don't strangle me for a gypsy, a plowboy. Try to be glad without being absurd. The whole household need not witness the sight of you welcoming a runaway servant as a brother. <laughs> Join us, sir. Mrs. Linton, recalling old times, would have me give you a cordial reception. And I am gratified when anything occurs to please her. And I also, especially if it be anything in which I play a part. I shall think it a dream tomorrow. I won't believe you return. But once again. Must have known that your cruel silence would be so hard to bear. And yet you let me wait, you let me wait and wonder neither here nor there, here nor there. I came back with just one intention, one last look, one last taste of you. Revenge on those who still despise me And take my own life too But there's a long and twisted journey Between this callous thought and deed And you're a sweet way to give me All the things I need
cold night is falling. And Mr. Heathcliff will have a long journey wherever he may lodge tonight. I stay at Wuthering Heights tonight. Wuthering Heights? Yes. Our brother Hindley invited me when I called this morning. <laughs> and he shall have liberal payment for my lodgings. <laughs> Come, brother. Off. Drunk again, brother Hindley, brother. You're not my mother's child, you scum. And I shall be drunk as often as I please. Drink yourself to death, then. But you and I each have a great debt to pay. On with it, then. We've
could cut my throat this second and nobody would regret me or be ashamed. It's time to make an end! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Come on! You bastard! <laughs> 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 Asylum if you last. I'll die a beggar. Live my child a beggar. If God gives me strength to strangle you in my last agony, I'll go to hell with joy. Get to the back kitchen with the other servants. Uh, Wuthering uh, Heights uh, is mine. <laughs> No! Mine! I love Heathcliff! More than ever you loved Edgar! He might love me if you would let him! I'd as sooner put a little canary into a park on a winter's day as recommend you to bestow your heart upon him. He is not a rough diamond, a, a pearl containing oyster of a rustic. He'd be quite capable of marrying you for your fortune and expectations. <laughs> There's my picture, and I'm his friend. Oh, you are worse than 20 foes! <laughs> Welcome, Heathcliff. My poor little sister-in-law is breaking her heart oh. by mere contemplation of your... Physical and moral beauty. <laughs> she would shoot a shaft into your soul that would fix you forever and send my image into eternal oblivion! <laughs> You'd hear of odd things if I lived alone with that mawkish, waxen face. And the most ordinary would be painting on its white the colors of the rainbow and turning the blue eyes black every day or two. They detestably resemble Edgar Linton's. Delectably. They are dove's eyes. Angels. Catherine, you may torture me to death for your amusement. Only allow me to amuse myself a little in the same style. She's her brother's heir, is she not? are married, or that intend to take the holy estate of matrimony upon you. Hear now what the holy scripture doth say, as touching the duty of a husband to his wife, and a wife to her husband. I do not love you, Isabella. I never have, I never will. I sort of through this ceremony. My reasoning need not detain you, but woman, it's not all bad news. Very 
you find peace and sucker in the spouse or life that made shoes. He will crush you, has no pity. Some lovers have on our way ahead, our dreams so clear. I welcome you into my family, into its dark internal wars. Let me enter into battle. I have the will, I have the cause. No one leaves him, but the damage. Stripped of every vestige of good It is with the greatest pleasure That I abandon spinsterhood Send thy blessings upon these thy servants This man and this woman Whom we bless in your name I shall not stay for Isabella, never heed my marriage vow. Believe in time, you won't regret this, though it may disturb you now. Abandon all attempts to love me. Don't fool yourself, that's what you feel when you at last decide to hate me at least. Your emotion will be real. Oh, the savage tune to madness. Love is stifled, joy denied. I adore him, no misgivings. A thankful and contented praise. Months of marriage and still picturing me, a hero of romance. No. But at last, I think you begin to know me. You pitiful, slavish, 
mean-minded bitch <gasps> to dream that I could love you. You are a lying fiend, a monster, not a human being. The more the worms writhe, the more I yearn to crash out their entrails. To be your wife disgusts me. I'll smash it. I'll burn it. My pa! I would rather be condemned to perpetual hell than rest with you one night more. Wolfish savage, tuned to madness. Love is stifled, joy denied. I do hate him. I am wretched. A cold, contaminated bride. I may not love you, Isabel, but I still hold you to your vow. And what is going? Is mine and no one else's now. Your presence is a moral poison that would contaminate the most virtuous. I've tried to ignore all the stench of your life. Be holding back for my wife Even she has seen your poison soul displayed Seen each move you made Contaminate, degrade I deny you hereafter admission into this house And require your instant departure Who's this juvenile? Who's this infantile? Tiny foot, my precious little lamb. Bleach and nausea. For I don't give a damn. Where to go? Intimacy with Heathcliff. You must answer me! Will you give up Heathcliff? Or will you give up me? Oh. I absolutely require to know which you choose! I require to be left alone! Oh, don't you see I can hardly stand? <laughs> Edgar! Leave me! Nothing. Go!
Heathcliff? We brave the moor's ghosts, often together, and stood amongst the churchyard's graves and asked them to come. Myself. They may bury me twelve feet deep in the earth and throw the church down over me. But I won't rest till you are with me. I never will. Gathy! <laughs> My life, how can I bear this? You have killed me. No. <sighs> No. I wish I could hold you till we are both dead. Will you forget me? Will you be happy when I am in the earth? Don't torture me till I'm as mad as yourself. While you rest in peace, I shall ride in torment of hell! I care nothing for your suffering! Why did you despise me? Why did you betray your own heart, Kathy? No. Yes. You may kiss me and cry and wring out my kisses and tears, but they will damn you! You loved me! <laughs> so what right had you to leave me for the poor fancy that you felt for Linton? Because misery, degradation, death, nothing that God or Satan could have inflicted would have parted us. Oh, but you, you of your own will have done it. I have not broken your heart. You have broken it. And in breaking it, you've broken mine. How can I bear this? Show me how I can survive. Trapped in your madness with no hope of release. Oh, I just wait for your demons to arrive. Blame. you rest in peace. You are marked with death by your cruel life. You deserve all this. You betrayed me with your final breath. You will still despise every tear or kiss. You betrayed me. I should not be tricked into pity for you must know full well that I love you. And you can't inflict any pain that's more than this
your own heart. How can I forgive you for the murderous part you played in destroying your love and your life and mine? She died like a saint. Did she ever mention me? Where is she? Catherine Earnshaw! May you not rest as long as I am living! Be with me always! Take any form, drive me mad. Only do not leave me in this abyss where I cannot find you. I cannot live without my life. I cannot live without my soul. May she wake in torment. Never to find any kind of comfort in death. <laughs> May her lies satanic that corrupt even now bring her back to confront me again. These are words of hatred. Words of contempt, and only one who loved her would say, only one who suffered at the hands and the heart of a woman who stole both his life and soul. Take and 
uniform or take none. sin has done Who is my protector From whence comes my help Who is there to calm me But she God shall be my witness That I pray she will know Not one more of a rest in the cold, cold ground. Be with me always, consume and invade me. Take any shape or disguise. Be with me always to share all my despair and to learn. Catherine, what I did yesterday. I got the sexton to remove the earth off your coffin lid, and I opened it. I saw your face again. It is yours yet. I struck one side of the coffin loose, and I bribed the sexton to pull it away when I'm laid here by your side. And slide mine out, too. And then... By the time Edgar gets to us, he'll not know which is which. I have a burden of pure vengeance that I was damned with from my birth. And it will be the force that drives me until the day I quit this earth You live by treachery and violence And 
They will crush you in return Your destruction is my pleasure You'll spike the fire in which you'll burn I'm the true son of our father And I am lord of Wuthering Heights Burn in hell, you filthy gypsy Share the fate of parasites I did not love you, Isabella You were a means to other ends I always knew our ailing offspring would never pay me dividends. I used to long for you to kill me, but now I wish you dead instead. I gave you all this woman could do. I was raped, abandoned, or feeling dead. Spineless Edgar, feeble Edgar, Catherine wanted only me. I was constant. I was tender. All that you could never be. It's not true, Kathy. It's a time for absolution. It's a time for true regret. I was the end. So easy to destroy, but not so easy, oh my Kathy, to be the one that you could enjoy. I cannot rest in peace without you, and you could never comprehend my cold and angry isolation. It beckons, sister, lover. All I see is your sweet face. It beckons. Kathy, you have disturbed me night and day through 18 years, incessantly, remorselessly, until yesternight, and yesternight, I was tranquil. I dreamt that I was sleeping the last sleep by you. <laughs> With my heart stopped and my cheek frozen against yours. I have nearly attained my heaven. That of others is altogether uncoveted by me. But just when everything is ready and within my power, I find that I have lost the faculty of enjoying their destruction. And I am too idle to destroy for nothing. Oh, there is a strange 
change approaching. I hardly remember to eat or drink. I have to remind myself to breathe. Almost remind my heart to beat. It is a poor conclusion. <laughs> is it not? <sighs> oh. Demon at 
the story's heart The cuckoo in the nest He gets so little of himself away Which is the reason why you will stay In case he falters, should be trained By whom or what knows best These are the facts of the matter These are the names in the case story is a famous one, now worshipped, now dismissed, rehearsed and controlled for meanings that may well not exist. The demon at the story's 